Hi, this is Eric the Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the leak sensor holder on your Samsung dishwasher. If you need to purchase a new leak sensor holder for your Samsung dishwasher, you can check our website, PartsFactor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. The leakage sensor is made up of a micro switch, a sensor holder or cover, and a styrofoam sensor. The styrofoam sensor sits in the base cover under the dishwasher. If the dishwasher leaks, water will flow into the leak sensor base and cause the foam sensor to flow up into the micro switch, which will disable the dishwasher. If the leak sensor holder is damaged, it may not properly trigger the switch if there is a leak. First, disconnect power to the dishwasher. If your dishwasher has a power cord, unplug the dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to turn off power at the breaker before disconnecting the wires in the terminal box, which is located underneath the dishwasher. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink plumbing or garbage disposal. Then, feed the drain hose and power cord through the holes in your cabinet as far as they'll go. Next, turn off the water shutoff valve for the water supply line. Next, open the dishwasher's door and remove the screws securing the dishwasher to the countertop. If your dishwasher is side mounted, remove the screws from the cabinet, which may be located behind the cabinet seal or behind the plastic cap on the side of the dishwasher. You may need to lower the dishwasher's front leveling legs if it is too tight against the countertop. Now slide the dishwasher out from underneath the countertop, being sure to carefully feed both the power cord and drain hose through the holes in the cabinet. If your water line does not have enough slack in it to pull the dishwasher out, disconnect the water line from the house's plumbing and pull out the dishwasher. Or, if you're able to access the back of the dishwasher, use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the water inlet line from the dishwasher. Carefully flip the dishwasher onto its back on a soft surface to avoid scratching or damaging it. The base cover is located here on the bottom of the dishwasher. Using a Phillips headed screwdriver, remove the screw holding the base cover. Then depress the four locking tabs located here on the base cover to remove it. Carefully pull the cover away from the dishwasher as it is still connected by an electrical connector. Next, gently but firmly pull on the wire to disconnect the leakage sensor micro switch. Then, pinch one of the retaining tabs on the top of the leakage sensor holder while lifting up to free one side. Repeat the process on the other side to remove the holder. Then, lift the styrofoam leak sensor to remove it. The micro switch is held into the sensor holder by two retaining tabs, one here and one here. Using a screwdriver or other small object, gently pry on the tabs while pushing on the switch to remove it. If you need a new leakage sensor holder, you can check our website, partsactor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you are searching with the model number from the tag on your dishwasher to make sure you are getting the correct part. For Samsung appliances, use the longer version of the model number listed on the tag, followed by a dash and then the version number if one is listed. For example, this dishwasher's full model number ends with a slash AA-00. To install, align the micro switch to the sensor holder and press into place. To install, align the foam leakage sensor to the base cover and set it in place. Then, align the leak sensor holder to the base and press until it snaps into place. Then, reconnect the electrical connector. Align the base cover to the frame of the dishwasher and press into place. Then, install the screw holding the cover to the frame. To reinstall, begin by installing the water inlet line to the back of the dishwasher. Or, if you have to disconnect the water inlet line from the house's plumbing, feed the water line through the bottom hole in the cabinet and reconnect it to the plumbing. With the dishwasher near the cabinet, feed the drain hose through the holes located towards the top of the cabinet and feed the power cord through the lower hole. Now push the dishwasher back a few inches underneath the countertop and continue feeding the drain hose and power cord through the cabinet. Repeat until the dishwasher is in place. With the dishwasher's door open, align the holes in the mounting brackets with the pre-existing screw holes on the underside of the countertop or the screw holes in the cabinet if using the side mounting option. You may need to extend the dishwasher's front leveling legs to ensure a tight fit against the countertop. Then, reinstall the two mounting bracket screws. Reconnect the drain tube to the sink, plumbing, or garbage disposal. Now, plug in your dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to reconnect the wires in the terminal box and restore power by flipping the breaker. 
And last, turn on the water valve. Finally, test the dishwasher and check for any leaks. That's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.